to our channel all about bi uh, in this session i'm going to tell you how do we make use of a dedicated sql pool to query records from a file and insert it to a table in dedicated sql pool in the last session we discussed the basic co basic concepts around a dedicated sql pool i'm just going to give a uh, light brush up or i'm going to just uh, refresh it a bit before i take you through the actual uh, coding part of it okay so when we discussed about um, the architectures right the primary difference that we need to keep in mind is the um, way how query is processed by each of this architecture right so if you have a query like select star from table name where order number between 1 to 10000 right with respect to a serverless sql pool how it is handled by the control node that's what we are going to see now so in um, serverless sql pool the technique being used is distributed query processing engine so the engine is termed as distributed query processing engine so how it handles is it is splitting the entire select query into small small queries for instance if we have a query that uh, queries order number between 1 to 10000 right um, what the control node will be doing is it will be splitting that select query into multiple queries maybe 1 to 1000 1001 to 2000 2001 to 3000 so like this the entire select query will be split into smaller queries and each smaller query will be uh, given to a specific compute node okay so the splitting is done by control node and each task or each smaller query is assigned to compute node which in turn is going to work on the smaller query given to it okay as we all can see here all the compute nodes um, have access to the azure storage so uh, in a serverless sql pool it's all based on file right so file where does it reside it resides in azure storage so all the compute nodes will have access to the azure storage on which it executes the smaller query that is given to it okay so uh, with respect to serverless sql pool just keep in mind that the entire query is distributed or split into smaller queries and each smaller query is worked on by the compute node okay on the other hand with respect to a dedicated sql pool how it works is uh, we all know that with dedicated sql pool it's all about distribution the data that is stored in a table uh, will be um, stored in different distribution format okay either in round robin format or uh, it will be replicated or based on hash value okay so the table might look like a single table but internally it will be distributed into different partitions okay when i say different partitions entire data is split across multiple partitions so when there is a query that is given to the control node this query will be parallelly executed by all the partitions or all the distributions okay so this is called massively parallel processing technique now right so the control node uh, what it does is it, uh, it it fires the query against all the distributions at once parallelly okay and each compute node it will be uh, working on the um, query against the data that is given to it so each of the um, partition um, will i mean each each data or table in, table data will be split into multiple partitions and the query will be fired against that partition okay uh, parallelly so this is what they call massively par parallel processing or mpp all right so let uh, us stop with this theoretical concept here i'm going to take you through the actual implementation part of it okay so as you can see here i have connected to dedicated sql pool i have a serverless sql pool as well if you want to run against dedicated sql pool we'll have to choose it from here all right so the first part of it uh, what does this do this is nothing but we are just checking whether there is a table called profile in the schema dbo okay if uh, it doesn't exist we are asking it to create a table create table table name followed by the columns we want okay and with the uh, every table that is being created in dedicated sql pool we'll have to tell what distribution technique it has to use or uh, based on what technique it has to distribute the data or partition the data that is stored in the table profile okay so here we say round robin we can also say hash or we can say replicate okay so it depends on the um, situation so when to choose what that is again a big concept we can concentrate on that in a, some other session so right here what we have to say is 
whenever we create a table associate a distribution technique with it using with class okay so this will make sure we are creating a table against a dedicated sql pool um, only if it's not existing all right so once this is done we are ready to uh, pull data from azure storage into our table that we created now okay so how do we do it there is a statement called copy into this is the statement that we make use of in uh, dedicated sql pool to copy data from a file into a table okay copy into this table name from the url this is nothing but my url uh, where my file actually resides in azure storage okay so if i close this i can go to the properties by clicking properties so here um, the I, I can see the url here i just copy it and use the same thing in from class and then with class um, this with class is nothing but i have to tell the query engine what type of file i'm referring to and where the first row starts okay in our case in my file i have a header in the first row and data from the second row that is why i'm saying first row is true and file type is csv with respect to serverless sql query we had it as format but in dedicated sql pool it is nothing but the file type okay so that's all with the copy uh, statement once i execute all this the data from my file will be copied into my table and i can query the data from the table that's what i'm doing here i'm going to run it so every time i run it's not going to create a table because only if it's not existing we are creating and after that i'm copying records from my file into table so i have uh, ran it three times so i'll have <coughs> in the data thrice here okay so this is um, just an introductory session of how do we create a table and load records from a file to a table using dedicated sql pool i'm sorry in the next session i'll be taking you through some somewhat complicated queries to analyze this data that is present in the table all right thanks a lot for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe. Thank you so much.